The rift has been stabilized. Very clever, growls the Dracloth. Fixing the rift like that. But you made yourself weak and me angry. And it's good to fight when I'm angry. Time to fight. Get your back online and stream quality went up to excellent. have been weakened. More important, Eberron is safe for now. Congratulations, Arrow. You should have received your turbine point code by now. Please make sure you use it through my account dot turbine dot com and not in game redemption. Not calm. Stoked. I'm still dead. Oh, there's a shrine. There's a shrine. Mm -hmm. That's away from you. So I was busy emailing codes. Codes plural. Well, code singular. Let's see what I got. Another. You got Jibo's loot luck. I got Jibo's loot luck. The devs look down upon you. All right, so what's next? Because the plan for the night was chain two and chain three. We, we just finished chain three. Yeah, I, I, I specifically used look down on as a um, look double entendre there. Can you spell entendre? Could have at Absolutely. least picked a more complicated word. It's not terribly hard to spell. We can do Druid's Curse. Mm. 
We could do that too. Oh, no, you know what we haven't done that we really need to do? Don't drink the water. That's true. Erudition or prowess? I'm not sure. It's too bad you're not in Naughty Chat right now, Shun. Also, Scott, read Naughty Chat. Metal's talking about that thing we brought up the other day about you guys and going to drink. And Scott's reaction there, too. <laughs> okay, now... On a more serious note, which of those two is actually better? I'm assuming prowess. Which one has a better stat for your character? Because remember, I don't it's need bound on these. a choir. Yeah, I'm thinking more of you. Uh, what am I rolling into? Which is rare. On a choir, right? Yes, I just said that. Well, you have a tendency to say things and not realize it until afterwards. And be all like, why did nobody tell me? Which one will be harder for me to obtain in future lives? I don't know, check what quest they dropped from. Hey, not, I know it's not the easy one. Did I go in on EE? My bad. Do you want me to recall out? Cool. Then I'm not recalling. No one immediately spoke up and said, get out of there. So I take that to mean you're all comfortable with it. Well, that could be interesting for you. I can't get back there. I don't have d -door. Besides, you have the melee with you. You can kill stuff. Hold on, let me run. Ah, these things are attacking me now. Uh oh! Well, that's not good. So, bigger spells apparently break invisibility. Just so you know. Oh, so we were doing... Don't drink the don't water. Drink right? the water.
Yeah, I, I just remember that actually. I'm glad you gave me that heads up. I'm gonna key over to a uh, uh, primal the minute I can. Hi, Metal. Okay, I killed my guys. Where are you guys at? Are you guys almost here? Hello, everyone. Somebody stepped in to don't drink the water on Epic Elite instead of Epic. Oh, Elite. see, I thought you were going to say somebody stepped in poo. Oh, I don't have Featherfall anymore. Crap. What do you need Featherfall for for this quest? That chest. What chest? Just right back here. <laughs> Forget about it, ignore it, one of the two. It can drop tomes. It can drop plus three or four tomes, yeah. How many of your characters need plus four tomes, Scott? Too shame. That's true. But he also tends to buy these things from the store, so. So who's ever been I'm on a guild tryout? A magical barrier preventing you from passing further. Yeah, I figure you had, because I know that's I've how that works. I've had guild tryouts for this game. You've had them? You've held them? Or uh, officiated yeah. them? Yeah, in the past. Is, is it... Do you call it as much? Do you call it a tryout? Or do you just be like, hey, yeah, sure, come run with us and, and no, no, we'll... No, no, um... Somebody specifically said... Somebody, like... Most of the people who have joined my guild are people who I've run a few quests with and it's been like... Oh, you seem like a... Uh, uh, a cool person to run with. We should, if you're interested, you can join the guild. But there have been people over the course of the time in the guild that have come to me. Yeah, so I figured you guys would have won for that chest too, but nope. Out of nowhere, and they're like, hey, can I join your guild? And so I've had to organize a trial a tryout to see if they fit the guild and if they fit in with us and if they are up to the standards I required at the time of basic knowledge of the game. What are the standards that you require? Do you run them through um, uh, what is it? Alright. <laughs> That's why Shen's not in my guild. Ah, <laughs> uh, this was the, way uh, back. This, Keep in mind. this was like pre Motu. I see a lot of it. I remember back in the day it was always you know, the Shroud run was always the determination. 
allowed you to pit people against each other, see how well they listened, see the social interaction. But yeah, that would be what it was. I'd pick a quest that whatever level they happen to have a character at that was... had enough to it that they had to follow directions if they weren't already familiar with the quest. Ow! And see how well they followed directions, see how well they kept up with the group, see if they fit in socially with the rest of the guild, things like that. Now it's, it's just funny to me because I think of it like you know you take them through an obstacle course or you take them into the the Arum quest out in Giant Hold and you like you know see if they'll set off the traps and if they set off the traps you're like nope you didn't make the cut. Nowadays I would almost certainly if I were going to do it require they have an epic level character I would pick a moderately difficult EE quest and require them to be able to keep up with a character of mine. Ouch, you would require them to keep up with EE? I don't think I would make your guild. What? You run EEs with me all the time, you're just fine. I don't keep up. Dude, I don't know what say we about. normally follow. <laughs> I never feel like I'm dragging you through EE. Well, clearly, you Whoa, and I have a different. Damn. You and I have a different uh, interpretation of dragging, getting drugged through a quest. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! That hurt. These guys hit pretty hard. Did you guys know that? Maybe I always care too much on the social side. I would rather make sure that they get along with the guildies in, in some form of not not only social but you know hierarchical. I I way. think I tend to agree with you, uh, Scott, that it would be more of a does this person fit versus how competent of a player or you know how well geared or or the the to the degree that they understand the, exactly the the game. I, I would rather yeah. find a random four group of people that are just completely average players that get along really well and you know they have the, average have a... players should be able to run ee that's kind of the <laughs> point i'm making here scott oh okay well oh, no man. me and metal may just disagree with you on some points uh, let me rephrase i i would be just as happy getting five really solid you know, social people, no drama, that will happily run with each other. That, you know, you can log on with a character and at any point during the week, there will be somebody running something, then, you know, get, you know, somebody that can run EEs by themselves and, and you know, are a little bit snobbish. Who's that thing about running EEs by themselves? No, I, just comparing the different styles and All stuff right. that I would rather Here, Scott. casual player. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you a question. Sure. So you, you you would value social ability over play no, I skill. No, I would value their fit with the guild. It's a balance. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's, a, it's a balance, and it's now, it would be hard to describe. Let's say you have somebody who fits in hard just fine quantify. with your guild as a general rule, but let's say for the sake of argument, they're their player skill level is close to that of Koi. W would you let them in your guild? Uh, you know what? I, I would probably say yes. Because, like, I, I wouldn't want to focus on, on any names here, but I mean, if there was a fairly new player to the game that didn't understand how it worked, but was willing to learn, which that, is something that they would need to be able to fit in with my guild. That's not what I'm talking about here. New play. As you know, the most recent people to be added to my guild are brand new players. W and a I've willingness, been willing to teach them. I'm not talking about a new player. A willingness Sorry, to know. learn is a is a is a quality. That's a yes. property. So you could have someone who is socially fun, outgoing, likes to laugh, cuts up, and is lighthearted about it, and and fits in with other people. 
and that same person is unwilling to learn. In fact, I can even think of, of a couple examples. The, the question, though, is would I allow somebody like that in my guild? Even if they weren't willing to learn, if, again, if they fit in the guild both, and I don't just mean socially, I mean, you know, if it's that one guy that doesn't run with anybody else because they don't get along with him because there's that big of a difference both in, you know, let's say maturity, play style, gameplay or whatever, then they're not a fit in the guild and that, you know, it, it's not a fit. Anyway, the, the conversation is um, um, provoked, provoked is the wrong word, is inspired. Yeah, that's a much better word. Inspired by an LFM I've seen recently on our server, where there is an individual who seems to keep posting, um, I think that, I, I don't know what you just oh. said just now, oh, I just but he it. keeps posting LFMs and he's like, hey, let's run this, or hey, Looking for somebody to unlock this, and by the way, guild tryouts. Optional. That is, I'm almost certainly more a. So here's what's happening there. It, it's not clear by watching that this is what's happening there, but here's what's happening there. It is strictly speaking against the terms of service to post an LFM to recruit people to your guild, just for the sake of posting a, hey, my guild is recruiting LFM. That's something that will get you reported. Oh. So instead, he's running the quest he wants to run, but he's also trying Dual to recruit purposing. people for his guild at the same time. Okay. And since he's actually running quests, he is using the LFM system for its intended purpose. That's actually a very old practice from people who are trying to build guilds on this server that are not going to it's there are three the ways that posts. people build their guilds on this server there is the legends of orion way which way is that the sorry i spam I... general chat and blind invite people way and everyone's a okay. recruiter and every yeah and everybody in the guild is promoted to officer so they can recruit more people there is the Uh, there is the, I would say, Midway Guild, which is similar to what you and Scott were mentioning, and what most of the mid-sized guilds and casual guilds would do of run with people, and if they fit with your guild, I invite them to your guild. And then there are the Elite Guilds, which would hold actual guild tryouts that would be far more involved and they are only looking for the best of the best. And to be honest, they don't normally publicize a guild try it. It's, it's right. one of those they, you're they invited. They run with you in a raid or something, see that you're not terrible, and then decide to approach you and say, are you willing to take the next step to what it would be to be in our guild? Are you willing to advance your DDO career? Yes. And <laughs> hit funny the, to me. the person that posting this LFM is somewhere between the first and second group. See, he doesn't want to weird... invite everybody, but he also isn't being particularly picky about who Something he invites. And an easy way to get recruits is via the tree. LFM system. Brandon hit on a point that's far more common and far bigger of an issue nowadays. When we were seeing this kind of stuff, we're talking years ago, and you know, you would see the majority of uh, that, that might be a little, oh, but I'll still say it the majority of that would have killed. And it was one of those you'd see somebody in a raid, you'd see the ra Saturday night raids were always the big thing. The, the guildless people would mention that they were interested, and the person might run with one, or you know, uh, uh, somebody in the raid would see the people there weren't gilded and say, Hey, you know, are you interested? And it was there was far more of an active push and pull for guilds. Now it's uh, I think the last character I rolled on the server before I recruited it into my guild, I had five invites before I even ran three quests. 
is that is that because that it's maybe so easy for anybody to have a a guild with uh, sufficient you can create your own guilds well, and uh, it's easy for anybody to have a guild with with sufficient uh, amenities, I guess. Well, it's always Sorry. been easy to get amenities to at least the basic level, even under the old system. Yeah, and like guilds were a thing before amenities were there, right? Like it's the um, I, I guess it depends what you're viewing there for. I, I would say there's probably a far larger info. Whoa! I should really quit talking while playing. Um. Yeah, I'm just kind of. I was. Why don't you just be a better player? Uh, you know what, Scott? Yeah, I was going to recruit you to my guild and just forget be it now. A better player. Oh. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree with Metal here. Yeah, you should just just kick him out of your party. Just vote kick him right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, every vote kick system that's ever been suggested, the leader is the one who calls the vote. They're also uh, terrible for a bunch of reasons, but... Whoa. I guess the, where I was getting at is it's why people are in guilds now. The It is far... You'll see far more small, tiny four-man guilds or two-man guilds because you can relatively get to a level in an airship with some amenities. Well, yeah, but Whereas, again, you've always... Especially with a small guild like that, it's always been easy to advance. No, but I mean, back in the day, people, there there was no benefit to doing that. Now, with guild and airship amenities, it's fairly easy for you to get buffs in a very small make-your-own-guild kind of setting. I well, just see, stopped I... singing my songs because they can't do that. See, I kind of, I'm actually thinking back to, like, the the era on, on Orion when the Defenders were kind of a... a, a very widespread and fairly well respected guild and one of the things that they did for most folks i mean they would have raids pretty frequently that they would pug to fill up um and then they would you know you you got to talking to one of the defenders and they're like yeah you ever need to do green steel crafting just uh you know let anybody from the defenders know and uh you know we'll we'll get you a ship invite and yeah, it was, was i mean it was very it was like a, almost like a community thing that that made that guild even stronger just because they were they were so you know welcoming and approachable. See, so you're still talking though in a in a post airship setting, right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah with the yeah, the this, is, that this was, was what, the airships and seven that airships were added. That's a long feel that time old? ago. It was a long time ago, but even then, I think that when the Yo, there weren't. It seemed like there weren't nearly as many guilds that had high enough guild ranking oh no, to, to the carry the tier green steel. But no, the green steel amenities. Stuff you needed to get relatively easy. No, a lot of that came with the huge influx and and the rush of the level twenty plus content. But also keep in mind when I was talking about having people try out for my guild, this this was U nine, U ten, so way way back. This is back before, before there I were epic elites. Oh yeah. Not not before I met Metal though, because I met Metal pretty early on. I just, to, to be honest, I, I think a lot of this also hinges on the Serper population, which is just not what it used to be. That the, is well, actually, probably a factor, yeah. There, There's two big parts to that, I should say. One is, one is lack of new players to the server, and then the other is the, the large, how do I word this? The fact that the majority I'm of the offended. larger Stop. guilds no. run through channel or through guild only. Like, you can you can log on on an average night on Orion and see five LFMs. Uh, when was the last time you checked LFMs on Orion? Um, if like you come in yesterday? late, yeah, it'll, it'll get dead. 
There's a few more than five, though, typically. Right now, there's, what, eight? Well, it's late. It's 11.30. It's people, late people go to sleep. Yeah. But I mean, okay, but l l there's still far less than there used to be. And my point is, is there's a bunch of people, like, like us now that, you know, primarily run in channel, and, you know, there's always people to run with. There's not as much of a need for pugging, so to speak, as there used to be. See, that that, that actually disheartens me a fair bit. I, I liked the, the larger user chat channels where there was a wealth of people, you know, even if some of them were jerk-offs, that you hey, could you at least... Uh, even that's not what it used to be. Titans dying, man. And I, you know, I thought it would never happen, but it is. The, I, I think it's sad I in many stop. ways. I think it was just not to be helped, though. Unfortunately, what's that? Uh, me mentioning the whole the death of primarily pugging versus versus channel. Yeah, but pugging um, has actually picked up significantly. Yeah, the Since best the thing that Turbine were did. Made. Since the XP changes were made, it has helped significantly with the amount of pups. I agree, and you know what? For all the people that made fun of the the weekend bonus, it worked out really well too. If Metal knows which part I'm talking about. No, I do, yeah. and I, I actually I I had a a mind that you know maybe they should leave that on all the time. But, yeah, but if they, they do that, then they penalize so right. Like no, you 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 pointed that out, and it's and I to get me that. is a valid thing. And we know from experience with, like, say, the flawless victory bonus, that a bonus will be treated as a penalty if you don't get it, and most other people do. Even though it's a bonus, that's not how people will take it. You know what, it's, uh, I think some of you may or may not disagree with this, but I still think the worst thing that affected um, guilds was amenities. Eh, the biggest thing that I'm gonna, like, I used to run with a lot of people pre-airships that weren't in guilds and just were never going to join guilds because they didn't see that they were, that they suited any purpose to them that was worthwhile. Beyond a group of players or people with, like, interests and playstyles. There were user chat channels for that. They didn't yeah, need but a guild for that. There were user The majority of there. players didn't find other people through user... Didn't find guilds through user chat channels. They found user chat channels through guilds. That's not how I found most of my user chat channels. It had nothing to do with you you running in other guilds telling you, hey, you should join this channel? No. I, it had to do with me pugging, but not with me running with people in specific guilds. No, but it was those people in, in their guilds that said, hey, you of... should do this instead of a flat guild invite. They, just like they still do today, they, they invited you to use your chat channel, yes. which is a method they would use for recruiting. I don't know, I was also in a guild for most of the time. Like, that that used to be the thing, you, you know, you'd run, if you weren't instantly like, hey, you should come and join our guild, or hey, you should come try out, it was, hey, you should hang in this channel, and the next time we fill a party, you know, come join us in a quest. Yep, I'm about shrining before the boss. And again, Alter, I missed the, the one part of the camaraderie no. that you're talking about. Sorry, I keep doing that. Um, uh, I think the ability to easily get all these airship amenities has changed that. You were right. There was many times I remember having to ask to hitch a ride for a green steel altar or have a guild offer me one, whereas everybody has them now. You know what I remember? Not having to wait for people getting buffs after quests? 
I remember having to run Shroud to get to Green Sea Walker. Yep. <laughs> At or near level. <laughs> Except for the second altar, it's always shut around. I remember doing the uh, grind on the shroud and doing, I think it was like eight of them in one day. Yep. Oh, not completing. Just before. Yep. Yeah. Large green dragon has made this guys, his land. guys, there's a dragon the here. The source of the there's a dragon. Great beast Kill the dragon, kill the dragon. We should let the melee get out right before we attack, right? Shit, I count on you, bro. I didn't mean to melee it. There's no need to rush. You know I'm always told not to play with my food. <laughs> Oh. Why do I have aggro? <laughs> Whoa. I'm running. It's I'm poor life choices. It's raise, poor life choices, Brandon, that's why. Scott needs a heal and a raise. In that order. Right, him. Oh no, it was a raise for Shin. Alright, come back here. You know, I would like to say the one thing that's just really great. It's monster manual kills. Wow, well, he knocked me flat. Still. One thing I, I haven't, I haven't stood the, up yet. One problem I have with the monster manual thing, though, is I'm trying to figure out where or what ones you still need. I, I just treat it as like bonus, like bonus pizza. You're 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 having fun, you're playing the game like and all pizza. of a sudden hey, there's a bonus. You just you just you just won something extra. What I'd like to see is a complete list and then Watch out. check off the trap. They're gonna be active from here on out. Check off the ones that you've gotten. Oh, like a different kind of UI where it's more like no, these. These are where you need to get to. Yeah. Hey, if you okay, go and a six. try and kill this guy, you're going to do this quest. And if you do this quest, you might get these guys here as well. Ooh. I'll get him, Jack. I'm going to back up to take it. Okay, jump back on her. You're a halfling now, Scott. She bugged out. Shh, don't say it. The other thing I'd like them to do is uh, do something with the image gallery. Yeah, I'd like to see the image gallery expanded a bit. Expanded a little bit, yep. Yeah. Great in those. What do you mean, like from the cards? Or, well, um... yeah, to be more than just cards, or to be. Damn. Jag, Ray's coming. Well, fine. So I'm just gonna go back to attacking the dragon. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, with the image gallery, that's one of the things I used to like doing was flipping through the player's guide and looking at the different races and stuff. If they did something like that and put some more images in the image gallery, then that'd be kind of cool. Voices. To me, 
see, we did just fine on EE. Never need skills. We had four, five, two, and two. So nine, 11, 13 deaths. Wait, how many deaths? 13. <laughs> You're Scott not was dying. five of them. You're Dad not carrying four. anybody. And me and uh, Shaggy were each two. I don't know why they're so afraid of running EE. -E. I actually don't mind running EE. -E. I don't. I'm not. I would have zero interest in soloing EE. -E. Took us a half hour. That's not much longer. I don't have a confidence in the my characters. I don't have no, a confidence in my characters' e -E resilience. Characters and that's the way I've always been. I've I've never considered myself an EE -E player, and I normally refer to that primarily as solo. I enjoy playing it because I find the Epic hard, especially after running EEs, is just not. <laughs> yeah. Epic hard after running EEs is just. It's. Although it's just I, I. So pedestrian. I think Samus Grobo said it best, and I, I really agree with him. It's not that EE's hard, it's that EE hits hard and just has a lot more hit points, and. Adding more hit points and higher saves doesn't make it harder, it just makes it longer. By the way, the Menace of the Underdark Saga is now complete. Lady is on a winter. Uh, are we pulling it? I believe also Gizla slash Grazla's uh, is finished. I, I wish there was a way for them to increase difficulty without it just being that kind of bell curve on the, the hit points and how long it takes to beat somebody down. Yeah, but when they try to use mechanics that are more than that, people complain that they are rough. Uh... Maybe if you're talking like um, the champions. You mean a way to increase difficulty without just bumping up hit points? I mean, and I how like dare they do that. I liked the idea of champions. I think some of the way it was implemented could have been better, but it, it did serve its purpose, and I think it was better initially. I really think they shouldn't have pulled back off of it. Yeah, I like champions. It, it gives you there's a degree of even if you are just kind of floating along, it's a little bit of a slap in the face, and it it makes you. You know, pay attention. You're like, oh, oh, wait a minute, hold on. We 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 can't just keep steamrolling through this. We're going to have to, you know, target him or leverage tactics or. Well, now that was it makes you think. That was the big thing for me. It wasn't so much that it was like, it made you do things differently. Like normally, they with some of the effects, they would just completely go against your gameplay, and you would have to change tactics. Not just create tactics or use different ones. Uh, are we uh, doing anything else tonight? It's right near the time Scott normally goes to bed. Um, if there's a small quest, I'll do another one. But other than that, it is getting late. Where are you giving away? Uh, you giving away any uh, prizes to your listeners? I uh, already did it. Oh, sweet! Who won? Uh, Aerofin, again. Again. Eric, Aerofin's won three times now, if I recall correctly. Aerofin, you might want to take up a career listening to this stream. I think you're pretty good at it. Like it's damn near, it's 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 almost better than VIP for him. He he's coming here twice a month. He's getting a thousand five hundred turbine points. He's getting a thousand turbine points a month for listening to us. No, my point is we only give points away every two weeks. Nobody's won three. <laughs> long enough. Have we really been streaming that long now?
Where are those? What is the name of the... Um, oh my god, second of the givers. <laughs> it's the one over near the mailbox. I'm back. Lady is on a winter. Wow, look at that. Congratulations to the guild known as Naughty Desires. They have reached guild level 100. That's yeah, a just, good way to go out with a bang. Yeah, I picked up a Saga Renown Pot and was like, yeah, I'm doing this before I log out for the night. Ah, oh, I picked the wrong one. I picked the one that would have been worth more XP. Okay, it I have to ask. Are, same are, renown. We are grabbing XP. We're not grabbing renown, correct? Gra grab whatever you want. I'm grabbing XP from uh, Gizla. I'm grabbing uh, renown. So Lady is on, and who is the other one? Gizla. No, we ran out of XP. Uh, we decided to do the Shavroth quest instead. Yeah, I just... Druid's Curse quests aren't super quick if you if you guys want to do them i'll hop with stick around and do it but we were not taking 23 if we could correct what i'm taking 23. why would we oh, not right. take 23. <laughs> Yeah, but we likely won't be running anything that low by the time we get there anyway. Okay, uh, we could go do a Red Fens if you want to do something quick. We could go do Fathom or something. You guys have D-Door, right? Uh, it depends on our DPS on the boss. That, yeah. That's what'll matter. matter. I'm good and with doing one the quest. The boss is an elemental, so don't count on crits against him because of the fact that he's an elemental. Okay. Oh, I'm not saying that you can't be... You, it won't... I was talking about people like Scott, who True. his main damage is when he crits, and he cannot account, he cannot count on that being a source of damage. Spell crits, of course, are not affected by uh, that. I was going to say, 
I'm oh, curious my. at this point which is going to be more beneficial. Um, Thunderforged or my, still my heroic sauce? Ah, uh, well, tier 1 Thunderforged? It might mm. pull ahead. Still has a decent base uh, die. Yeah. And that's the thing. Is that it does have the... Like, three and a half weight. Is that right? Checking right now. Three point five weight, yep. Nope. Yes, three point five weight. Three point five weight with plus nine bonus on it. That's what I thought. What am I right now? Thank you, sir. I'll be over there in just a moment. I'm just spending destiny points. Wait, I'm on. Oh, yeah, thanks. What is he. Ah. Yeah, so I would almost double my base weight right now. I'm currently sitting, well, with, with it, whatever adds to it, just 1.25 of 2d6. I would jump up right off the bat to 3.5 2d6. Okay, I'm on my way over to Fathom. Because Turbine hates you. I mean, what? Oh, you killed- oh, you killed a uh, Drowned. The zombies that are, you know, unique to the red fence. Yeah. Scott. You should help, uh, Frost. With what? He needs help for enchantments for a human wizard. At level 10. Enhancements? Yes, action point spending. You've played wizards. It's been a while, I don't exactly like my wizard. Well, you go tier 5, Archmage, but you can't get tier 5 at level 10. Which, uh, which one are we running? 
fathom the depths. That would be the one in the ziggurat. Sahagan God. Do you know how to do it, Shin? It's clear the fish people are trying to find something inside the ancient structure. Why didn't you death ward yourself? Well, that's what you get for thinking. Or not thinking, as the case may be. You're getting congratulations in uh, Titan, but you don't have Titan, so... I don't. Maybe somebody else in my guild's in Titan. Okay, probably not. I think I'm the only one in my guild on. Let me check. No, Voodoo's on. Yanate's on. They might be in Titan. Yeah, I'd be in Titan if it wasn't a terrible channel. In your it's... opinion. <laughs> You're you're unnecessarily um, selective, I think. You know, you you once told me that Titan had gotten better, so I rejoined it on your recommendation and discovered that that you were wrong or lying to me, and uh, it hadn't, in fact, gotten better. I have uh, a higher threshold for garbage I think or crap or just silliness than you have my issue with Titan was and remains the decision of the people in the channel to spread knowingly false information to people who are asking legitimate questions about the game When new players join and decide to join Titan because somebody tells them it's a good place to ask people for advice, and then they go into Titan and ask people for advice, and people intentionally spread false information, that's why I left the channel. I didn't realize that was the reason why you left. Yes. And I didn't realize that that was going on. That's really unfortunate. And when trying to correct them... Several other people will be like, no, no, listen to the guy who's saying what's wrong. And I just gave up on it. The people who have... Trolling. The, the people who have come to be the... Respected members of the channel since our left... Are people that cannot be bothered to... Uh, Giant magical barriers enclose this space, and the area beyond the barriers is filled with seawater. Ah, uh, but yeah, it, it's the, the people who are now the respected members of the channel are not people that I would, that I want to have to deal with. And I could squelch them all, but then, you know, there will be nobody talking in Titan. <laughs> so, it's... I could have an empty Titan chat. It's six one or I could be half not dozen Titan. the other. So I decided to go with the just not being Titan option.
Yeah, I always thought this quest was pretty well designed. You always thought this quest was what? Well designed. It's a great quest for quick completion. Or is that one not what you meant? No, I, I mean overall layout progression. No? However, I'm not a big fan of the, the capstone of underwater fighting system. The floor. I don't want to the talk about it. That was definitely the one of the first times that I became really disillusioned with DDO for a bit. What quest are you guys running and what are you talking about? Red Fence and the oh, okay. underwater combat. Why do we have 21 kills? Fair enough. Yeah, I was still in the evening store and had to run across. Because there's no easy port back to evening or back to here from evening star. There needs to be a key to uh an unkey? It needs to be a key to the city storm reach. That's what we need to add. I can say things, I promise. on the stream still that uh, want some trivia? What about trivia? Some DDO specific trivia? I like trivia. Thaddeus 14, what's its significance? I will provide hints if uh, you're completely stumped. Hold on, let me kill this guy. There is a place in the game where there is a description with Thaddeus 14. Where is that place? Mm -hmm, yeah, I know. I know a lot of random things about this game. Grave Robber? No, not Grave Robber. Well, what was Thaddeus 14? Thaddeus four, 14. That so would be Thaddeus. Slack who on you, Metal? And now that I know oh. where you are, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, okay. I, you I've cheated. not gone out there and uh, done you those. You cheated. And, I don't know, probably sometime since Cap was raced. And it was a while before that that I did that. It's not Stealer of Souls, no. No, it's a uh, it's an explorer point. It's a reference to the person responsible for building the explorer, or for building what's at the explorer. Come down here, Darren. I will read. Just at the end. The name Thaddeus fourteen, and that's in Roman Take numerals. X I V has been etched into the side. That floods the area. 
Trees is gonna drown. Scott's good at going, isn't he? No, no. I have no idea. I figured it would have been grave rubber. Alright, would you uh, like to share, Brandon? Maybe. It is Veil of Twilight, and I'm pretty sure it is on the bridge that is built going across Veil near the Knoll area. I think you... I think you know where it is, but you aren't placing it exactly. I'll still or give you credit for it. On, maybe it's the one underwater that fell down, but it's, it's one of those pillars out in the Veil. And I remember reading it way back when I did Explorers in the Veil, but that's in three years or so. so Dungeon yeah. Master, this was the final pillar raised in the construction of the giantish aqueduct network. The name Thaddeus 14 has been etched into the side. So this is, this is out this? in the uh, kind of in the just the wilderness area to the right there. Uh, where the ogres are and oh, it's in one it. of the little valleys where, where there's a pillar and there's it's a bunch the one of spider webs over it it's where the one explorer is for the aqueduct yes yes it is the explorer for the aqueduct yeah if you're entering from the 12 it's off to your right I remember I looked forever for that the very first time I was in the veil yeah, like I said, I did Veil Explorers on my first two characters to hit 20. This is not the right way, Velma. Why did I follow you? I was going with Clay. Oh, I'm sitting here. I should clearly be going where Jag is. Triz. Triz is going to drown. She's fine. Look at her. She hasn't drowned yet. I healed her three times. No. Oh, it's back in the corner. Duh. Now I'm following Scott and he's taking me the wrong way? Yeah. Why are you following Scott? Of all things, good God, sir. Somebody the didn't right flick the switch this is not the right before way. the... We were supposed to flick the switch before taking the D-door. I did hit the switch before taking the D-door. Or else you wouldn't see the water in there. Yes. Okay, yeah, so we got it down underneath. Yeah, it's right over here. No, there's a gate here. Oh, it's because you started the fight. This gate closes when the fight starts. <laughs> I never knew this because, you know... Hey, is everyone playing again? I don't know. Are you still in the chat? Yeah, I uh, got lost following Shaggy. Like, where is he going? They really need to make more of these, what they've done with newer ones, where it's a one way waypoint. My video dropped again. Oh, no, but came back.
books. I think that might be it for me. I have a good one, Metal. Thanks for popping in and saying hi to us. Yeah, take care, everybody. Their enslavement of the Raven Eye. So does the door open after you, you finish? Able to retrieve the planar fetter, and the Sahagan have taken the magical device back to the Turn back to help Shaggy sure take. Yep, yep, it did. So it's good to know there's this terrible lockout mechanism in this uh, quest. I presume we're not going to try and do the uh, cube.
people really want to kill a gelatinous cube? It's true. I mean, I Let's didn't think it was a cube. good reason, but it's... Let's kill the cube. It's a reason. I don't even suggest... Oh, dampen rope of dissonance. Just the two chests, right? Just the walking behind it. Just the two chests? Yes, just the two chests. There are so there are a bunch of swagging on the way to the cube, and then you've got to deal with the cube. Ahead lies the treasure vault, where the Sahagans store the loot plundered from this ancient room. It is. Already got it. Oh, sure, you took care of it. Maybe I don't notice this because the characters that I tend to run this class with tend to have evasion and just ignore traps. The Sahagan's treasure guardian relentlessly patrols this massive chamber, made invincible by the muck flowing in through the wall grates. Turning off uh, buttons. disabled the treasure guardian is no longer able to feed now is the time to strike Oh, see, he was worth 11k XP. It's a good reason to kill him. Sahagan guard the top of the ziggurat. It's clear the fish people are trying to find something inside the ancient structure. And on that note, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Catch us next week, Friday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Most of you already know that. Um, I never mentioned it, so I might as well do it now. Uh, free item of the week is September 11th through 17th, the free greater remove negative level potion. It's 8-1-D-D-C. 
Other than that, 40% off cosmetic armors, hats, helms, headwear, and jewelers, toolkits, and augments. Um, I think DDO points are still on for double. And don't forget to check out Titan Streams and Death by Dwarf on Sunday. See you next week, guys.